I just returned from a weekend in New Orleans, Louisiana with some of the most talented painters in the industry for the Annie Sloan Big Paint Weekend and I wanted to share a little bit of the energy with you guys. From gold leafing by Olivia with Pigeon and Pip to some faux concrete finishing by Karina from the Housewarmings, there was painting going on in every corner of the room. Heidi from Dingley Dell Creative has the most adorable hand-painted folk art style. I loved watching her work. This was probably my favorite part of the event was getting to see all these different artists' visions come to life. Martine with Atelier 1966 added a whole bunch of texture using a brayer all over her piece. Aida at With Love Furniture did some hand-painted designs. She chose a koi fish motif with some really beautiful coloring. I think she used most every color in the Annie Sloan line and I could have sat and watched her paint these lotus blossoms and her wave design for forever. It's one thing to see these pieces in photos on camera, but another to see them come alive in person. Kacha with Kacha Furniture showed us some dry brushing techniques and of course she added her signature gold. The up close texture on this piece was really pretty to see and run your hand over. Of course we had to have a shop inside too of everything Annie Sloan to take home with you. The event was held in New Orleans at a culinary institute called Nochi. It was full of exposed brick walls and a view of the city skyline, a very inspirational place to be painting. At the front, guests were greeted with signage for our daily schedule and picking up their name tags. And in the room, there was painting going on in just about every corner you could find, including up on the stage. Artists took turn taking the stage one at a time, showing everyone the techniques that they'd be using on the pieces, and then we were able to continue them and finish them off at the back of the room. These are posters of all of the artists that were included in the lineup that the audience got to learn from. I loved this format for an event because it meant that people could follow along and see the piece go from its start to its finish and all the stages in between. People could also choose what they wanted to observe the most and there were some people that just sat and watched a piece go all the way through. The range of techniques taught was incredible, from hand painting to a little bit of raised stenciling, there was some faux finishing, some blending, and maybe even a little dancing. Of course, I even got my chance to take my hand at a piece on this little Bombay chest that I chose in a range of purples. We did a little bit of blending and a little bit of layering of colors, and here's my final result. If you ever get the chance to attend one of these in-person events, I highly recommend it. I always come home feeling a resurgence in passion for painting and loving the new techniques that I get to bring home with me. Keep an eye on my pages for more announcements of big events, including more from Annie Sloan in the future.